Greetings everyone and welcome to episode number 9 of my Flutter web tutorial series. This and the next episode will be all about improving the project view in a way that we can interact with it nicely and generally have a more beautiful UI. Today we will talk about images. We want to create images for our project view that display a nice hover effect once we move our mouse over the image. Also in the end I'm going to show you how to easily preload images to avoid having any blinks or loading problems once a page or screen is opened. So make sure to stay tuned and enjoy the video. Before we start coding, let's talk a bit about all the preparation that I've already done. First I removed all the placeholder code we previously had in the projects view because we don't want to use that anymore. Also, I've created a model class for our projects so that we have a certain structure we can adhere to. Each project has a title, a description and an image for now. I've already added some example images to our assets folder so we can use these for each of our projects. So let's create some example projects in our project view file. Make a list of class project add three project instances and fill it with some random information. Important is that we use the proper names of our images in the assets folder for the image URL. Alright, so let's create some images based on these projects. Head down to our desktop view and again generate a list. This list consists of three images, one image for each project we have and some space in between each image. So the process will be to create an image and some spacer one after another. To achieve this we can make use of the index parameter given in the generate method and create an image every time the index is even and a spacer every time the index is odd. The image will be a project image widget, which we will be taking a look at in a minute. For now we are simply giving it the project this image belongs to and an empty on pressed. The spacer is a size box with a certain height. Let's add the generated list to our column down here and now we can have a look at the project image widget class. This is now the place where we define how each image we want to hover over looks like. To create this hover effect we are using the hovering package allowing us to easily implement a hovering animation for any widget we want. Add it to our pubspec file run pubget and go back to our project image widget. Here let's add a hover crossfade widget, enabling us to crossfade between two widgets on hover. Give it a certain duration and now we need to add the first child, the widget we initially see and the second child, the widget we see when we hover over the first child. The first child is going to be the image of our project.
Create a container with a given size, add a clip R rect widget allowing us to set a rounded border for the image and then add the image itself with the URL from our project. The second child will be an inkwell widget allowing us to define what happens once we actually press on the widget. Then we simply add a white container with rounded borders and write the title of the project in the center of it. Of course, you can add anything you want here, for example a more detailed description of the project or some nice animation, anything you want. For the sake of this video, the title will be fine for now. One final touch I'd like to still add is wrapping everything with a theme to be able to set the splash and highlight color to transparent. Once finished we can restart the page and now see our images. Once we hover over them, the project title shows up just as expected. One thing however I want to mention here is the initial loading time of the images. Depending on your browser or the resolution of your images, there can be a slight delay when the images actually are loaded and appear on the screen. It might just be a quick blink but it's still visible to the user. To avoid this, we can preload our images. For this, go back to the projects view file and override the did change dependencies method. This method is called write after init state, but allows us to easily preload our images with the pre-cache image method. Call it three times and give it the URL of each image and the build context. Now, in debug mode, you sometimes don't see any difference, but let me show you the comparison in profile mode with and without preloading the images. It's just a quick blink, still preloading the images makes a slight difference and might be useful for you. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful for your Flutter project. In case you have any further questions, feel free to write a comment to this video and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you very very much for stopping by and have a lovely day. See you next time.